When we first came together in 2010, the first goal that we worked on was to design what we felt was the optimal treatment plan for inflammatory breast cancer. How to reach out to patients who had this disease, bring them into the womb, I like to call Dana-Farber, make them feel comfortable, secure with their team, and optimize and standardize their treatment approach. Because my mother had IBC and had different symptoms, I wasn't aware that my own symptoms of rapid onset and a mass were also symptoms of IBC. Inflammatory breast cancer is a rare subtype of breast cancer and has challenges associated with its diagnosis and treatment. Quite often the breast imaging does not help as not always there is a mass and sometimes it's only skin changes. I was diagnosed with an infection. My doctor didn't know I had cancer. Even as a nurse myself, it didn't look or feel like what I thought breast cancer looks or feels like. I was otherwise healthy. I didn't feel ill. And I also had a significant lump, which isn't typical with IBC. One of the benefits of having a program dedicated to inflammatory breast cancer is the opportunity of bringing together individuals from all disciplines who are dedicated to research and really advancing the treatment of this disease. So the Dana-Farber has been involved in two trials looking at the radiosensitizer PARP inhibitor uh, in order to help the radiation work better. My colleagues and I have shown that FDG PET aided in the determination of the stage of IBC that a patient has and provides additional information helping the radiation oncologist plan the best way to treat the IBC with radiation therapy. We're doing research in MRI um, looking at breast skin thickness to determine if we can help surgeons determine timing of mastectomy. We're fortunate to have convincing research showing the importance of appropriate surgery, which includes the removal of the breast and the lymph nodes following chemotherapy. One of the efforts that has been made by the inflammatory breast cancer group of experts in which uh, Dana-Farber was, was included and, and had an important role was to come up not only with diagnostic criteria that might be more um, uh, uniform so that it's easier to make the diagnosis, but as well to provide pictures to clinicians of how to diagnose, how it might look in different types of skin. So having a, a group of, of dedicated practitioners who are comfortable and secure in the treatment of inflammatory breast cancer conveys this security to our patients. So they feel safe at the Dana-Farber and it allows them to feel safe and confident in the medical community. I was glad when I was referred to the Inflammatory Breast Cancer Program at Dana-Farber. The doctors gave me the right diagnosis and the whole team actually understood my concerns. Anyone that you're talking to when you call, these are people that we consider experts in caring for IBC, and that goes from Dr. Obermeyer and our physicians down to just our new patient coordinators that might not have a lot of clinical experience, but they are very specialized in talking with our IBC patients. It's huge to feel that you're fully supported and that everything is Everything possible that can be done for you is being done. It's, uh, I don't know that you can even really understand it unless you have cancer. There's been so much progress made in IBC. So when I think about the groups that we had and people that we lost early on um, and how difficult it was, and of course it is difficult, what I see now is people doing so much better for so much longer. So I have really seen amazing progress in the treatment of IBC in the time that I've been here. It's wonderful to see, and it's wonderful that I get to reflect that back to the patients. It really helps them to hear that. 
I can look to the advances between my mother when she was diagnosed in 95 to when I was diagnosed in 2013 to what I hear now of patients that I meet through the support group who are, you know, talking about the types of treatments they're getting and it doesn't, you know, resemble what I got because there's been so much progress. Knowing what we have accomplished in the last 10 years in terms of research and treatment approaches for inflammatory breast cancer, I really have great hope for the future. And now, as we transition the leadership of this program to my colleague, Philippe Lins, I have the utmost confidence that this program will continue to strive to understand inflammatory breast cancer and optimize the treatment of this disease for women in the Boston area as well as the world. Thank you.